All right, just got here to a spot over in Southern Alabama uh, with Noah. We're gonna hike around, hopefully find some stuff. Uh, looks pretty good, really warm weather. In fact, it's gonna end up getting hot. So we will see what we get. Nobody, lots of ants. That's nice. All right, so we looked in this rotten railroad tie and kind of down at one end was this good-looking broadhead skink. Look at the head. A big on that lizard. Guy. It's a pretty impressive skink. These guys are neat. Not very bitey. Normally they're not very hesitant to latch onto you with those big old jowls. Well, narrow mouth party. You got five or six of them under here. There's another one right there. Very nice. These guys are super common in this area. I'm sure we'll probably see more, but I'm assuming they're so dense here because there's all these ants that aren't fire ants. I'm assuming they're native. Brown snake Noah flipped these narrow mouth toads, a little group of them under a log. And these guys are really neat. They hide under things and their call actually sounds like sheep, which is kind of unique. Look at their little weird shape. Look, there's a bunch of them. Look at all those narrow mouth toads. Noah's keen eyes spotted this ribbon snake. If you look in the center of the screen, it's basking on this little sapling, small tree, yeah. shrub. Some sapling willow tree. That's it. alligator it's like probably four footer just enjoying some sun in the grass yeah he's getting some sun so that feels good you should be able to reach down and grab this yeah yeah, that's a brown water. I see the head. Oh, right yeah. There. See it? Where's the head? It's like, oh, back to the there. far right, back in that. All right, managed to get this little yellow bellied slider in hand. This one has a neat little dome shell. A lot of times you'll see freshwater turtles with dome shells where you have large populations of alligators, uh, like we've been seeing here. There's a big one basking on the other bank over there. Uh, so these turtles get a thick shell to kind of help keep them from getting crushed up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't, but pretty neat. Able to catch a turtle in December, so I'm pretty stoked on that. So I'm going to go ahead and let it go. Here you go, buddy. Yeah. Right back to where you are. Yep. in the water he's distorted all right so noah has found a baby cotton mouth oh i see his little tail yeah it's just this log i don't even see him he was just like on the back side of it no, there he is i think he's trying to thing. he's trying to get inside it he's very he's covered in sediment oh, you can see that white mouth where they get their name there we go cotton mouth Nope, nope, nope. I know you're trying to go inside the log. Nope. Well, there's our next snake of the day. It's a pretty obvious one. <laughs> Look at that. That was really cool. I didn't think that cotton mouth anywhere you go. What's up, green snake? Rough green. What a beauty.
Right, so we were walking up. Noah spotted a baby alligator and an erythrogaster. And we have a very serious mother alligator and her babies right here. It's a little tricky to see them right now. I'm gonna be very, very slow. Just so you can see, there's a little baby. There's the mother's head. And she's just looking out for her young. Not gonna get much closer because she will let me know she's the boss right now. But yeah, you can see little baby alligators right next to their mom. You Pretty. should have seen that erythrogaster head popping out right next to the baby alligator. It's cool. Well, that was a nice flip. There's our second cotton mouth of the day under a log. Mouse out here are ornery. That last one was was so like just grumpy and spooky that I didn't want to risk getting bit trying to prevent him from getting away. We'll try to get this guy to a more secure spot and we'll get a little bit more video of him though. Look at that. I'm being chased. I'm gonna actually take a cell phone photo of this one before it gets away. Oh, look at that. Come on, camera. So we lost the smaller cottonmouth. I'm still hopeful we'll find him, but I found the bigger one in the process of looking for the smaller one. <laughs> All right, so Noah just filmed his outro, so I'm gonna film mine. Uh, we just finished up, got a handful of snakes, nothing really in hand for today, uh, but we did get a few clips of a few different things. Uh, really pretty sunset out here. And, uh, just can't beat that for a nice mild day in December. And I say mild, it actually got hot. It got into the 80s, so um, taking advantage of it when we can, getting the best that we could get for today. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.